And we're obviously currently in our quarterfinal matchup between these two teams. As I've heard of uh, Skiliosis and Clutch Belk, uh, Supreme Agility and Retrix. I've heard of Retrix, I believe, in the I've past. I've heard of Retrix, too. Yeah, right. so some pretty known players, but uh, we'll have to see how they test their wits versus a very talented team in uh, you know, Saga. Supreme Agility, it sounds like a World of Warcraft name or it something. Does. Like it does. It actually <laughs> sounds like, I don't want to say an ability because his name's Agility, but like it sounds like a, a perk of some sort. Yeah, for sure. I like, like I like Skiliosis though. It's a it's a nice little is pretty cool. yeah. It's a, it's a cool little name. I forget who Skiliosis usually plays with, but I was casting with him quite a bit in uh, some ghost tournaments, heading into, of course, to World War II. The preparation oh, Proto. as Proto absolutely making Retrix look silly there. Clutch Belk was left at a one versus three. Thankfully, finds the nice sniper shot and they're on to Proto as the retake could be coming in as far as the round is considered. But Gunjar at the top of the stairs has the advantage. He was trying to outplay Goon right there. He's like, yeah. oh, he didn't see me. <laughs> <laughs> Goon's like, I, I definitely saw you. I'm yeah. just going to wait for you. Now, Ping Jar definitely saw you. The connection definitely <laughs> gave me the advantage. I also I, rocking the, the Ping and the Clan tag. Nice. So he, he um, recognizes it. I actually made a meme about Goon Jar back in, uh, what was it, Ghost. And uh, it was I photoshopped his face on a ping pong guy <laughs> for, for Ping Jar. It was, it was great. <laughs> oh, my God. That was when I was, <laughs> I was bad back then. Oh, the ba bad burns, huh? Bad, bad, bad burns. Burns. My manager was on me all the time. Oh, yeah? I changed, though. Who was the manager? Uh, Caleb oh, okay. from, from Curse. He's Curse. a, a low-key type of guy. He's a great guy, yeah. though. That's good. And uh, nice first blood. Is that why you have uh, maybe uh, <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a, of a similar aspect in your uh, managing uh, just managing a little bit. skills? <laughs> just a little bit, yeah. I got, I got taught from the, from the best. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate it. I respect that. I respect that. United definitely need to get <laughs> That's fair to say. But uh, Exotic and Proto, now just Exotic left in a one versus three spot. I believe in you. I believe in you, John. Do you believe in John B? Yep, I do. John B can do it. I mean, he was destroying the search and destroys. We were watching him play it earlier. I think like he had around like 12 or 13 kills in uh, a pretty high-level matchup in one of their prior rounds. Granted, a difficult spot for him to be in, most likely about to get picked off from any angle as he just happens to shoot Clutch Belk once in the side and yeah, it's thinks it's over, but not that it's not the case. It's looking like they're getting their struggle right now, but uh, you know, John and Black Ops Three was making a, a big name for himself, and I, I really feel like over the past year and a half, the only thing he's really needed to work on and is a blank. Um, but yeah, definitely. So with that, it looks like Retrix pulling at the car ninety eight K. Hanging in this round number seven. Of course, I know we've talked about this uh, a few times tonight. Uh, Burns, this is what it kind of comes down to being cast. You kind of have to repeat yourself over and over again. What comes into USS Texas, snipers on either side of the map, SMGs inside of the ship. As the Retrix not really having to do a whole lot just because his teammates are already following, he has to try to advance his position as much as possible. Why? Because he's the mass la last man alive. And by the time he can get to the fight, he drops one, but uh, is found from the flank. As it will be Exonic coming in from control. We will shut down Retrix and giving the side of... Saga, another round. Yeah, it was Perhaps. a nice little flank there by my Johnny boy. Your Johnny boy, huh? Yes, Johnny boy. Is he yours? Uh, you actually, yours? I was supposed to take John out to sushi for the past <laughs> nine <laughs> events, and I haven't been able to. So oh, wow. I, I'm actually like working really hard at the tournaments, but he thinks I'm egoing him. So oh, okay. my, our friendship is kind of distant right now, I'm unfortunately. Sorry yeah, it's okay. I'll make it up to him soon. Get him a lot of sushi. Yes, yeah, so I'll buy him his sushi. That's what I'll do. <laughs> And then he'll be fine. And but yeah, we got a clutch belt picking up a sniper. Maybe we can tune on with him and see yeah. if uh, he can support his teammates and get some more pickups over here. If I can pronounce my words right, <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a hard time too, to be honest with you. But of course, clutch belt along with Retrix, both using the sniper rifles. I believe it was Retrix in the last round, but that's a nice little variant there on the. Uh, I believe that's the Car 98K, the uh, Fallen. Is the name of the variant there? It's a nice scope. I would love to have that. Yeah, it's very a, pretty. It's a nice uh, little camo for is that. Is that like a too. little sheet that just happens to be on the barrel? I think it's, I think the it's a towel. A towel? Yeah, he's sweaty. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe he's a uh, feel nervous in the search and destroy. For sure. Oh, he could have got that shot. He could have got John B there. Yeah, for sure. John yeah. should have died. <laughs> but John non sushi B. I don't, I, I, what am I saying? I have no idea at this point. What's happening? My tricks. Shoot him down. The and clutch book. Definitely watching over him. Gunjar trying to fire away through the bomb. I'm interested to see where their third teammate's at right now. Ooh, Ooh nice the lake shot. shot. They're on the ping jar. We'll drop him. And Exotic in the back lines is the last player up. One versus two. In an awkward spot here, the PPSH. And he's got a sniper watching him. 
The sad part is, is that no matter where he goes, yeah, he's, he's gonna get spotted and just overall like great position right. there from clutch. There's only so much you can do with the sniper on a head glitch, you know, 30 feet away from you with the height advantage. Or really nothing you can do at all. Yeah. Unless he could have found a sniper, maybe you know, like uh, maybe it throws like a zombie loot box where you just <laughs> get a random gun. Or just like casually, that. like uh, what? There's 30 <laughs> seconds left. I got some time. Let me go and just. Uh, I got 15 seconds. You well, where's just, my ray gun? You like hat. sacrifice like your your kills, or your score like to that. like try and get it. That'd be maybe cool. a round, a round win. That'd did be that, dope. Did that count? That'd be oh no, a round win. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just <laughs> testing <laughs> how tired you are. <laughs> 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 I was just saying, like, he's like, yes, do it. Five take five. Like, oh, this is worth it. Let's just try. It'd be one versus four. It'd be crazy. Just ha like ray gun, awesome. Here we go, free win. That'd be kind of crazy, for sure. The Wonder Wolf turn everyone into like a child or whatever. Yep. That was like that was the, that was like an interesting gun. I think it was like what Black Ops Two, Black Ops Three. We like turned the zombies into like mm -hmm. miniature people or something. I love the spot from Rectrix, by the way. I'm not sure if we've seen. It. I mean, the other guy came and see him on the. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Portal does. Sorry, guys. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Portal's like, actually, I can see everything that you're doing. As uh, Proto, Gunjar responding for two kills. And here's the third one. Making it easy right now is the side of Saga. As yet again, from the back lines, Clutch Belk watching his teammates fall. And here comes the nade from what a Royalty. Nade. And Royalty's like, I'm in that sniper spot quite a bit of the time. I know exactly where to throw this frag. Yeah, it was a perfectly timed and placed nade. Do you think he said Kobe? I know he's a yeah, yeah, probably. hockey fan. I, I think he, he knew that nade was going to get the kill. So yeah, Smart strat there from Royalty. And it will now be five rounds to four. Of course, this is map one between both Saga and 1-3, uh, 2-3-2-1. Three, three, or something like that. I think I said it correctly. Where did they come up with this team name? They're really just trying to probably just spam the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> no, then it would have been like one, two, four. Eight, That's true. Or like two, one. A S D F G. They had some thought into yeah. this. We just can't really figure it Maybe out. Maybe there's something in the numbers. The numbers, Mason. Yeah. <laughs> the numbers. <laughs> oh, they no. mean something. Campaign days are bringing me back. Good old Black Ops one. My favorite Call of Duty we, of all time, by the way. We just witnessed uh, a lot of uh, bomb through kills. People shouldn't do the bomb. Not sure why Rectrix didn't yeah. try to get a, a quick pick. Remember that what we saw, right? Is yeah. it is it because it's uh, through the middle of the bomb site instead of trying to? I would imagine right you're shooting it? up into it rather than like straight through Got it. Yeah, not 100 percent sure, but that's my uh, maybe we can random bit of knowledge. Maybe not exactly sure. Exact back line tossing at the Molotov, trying to limit what could be a plant for instead of one three two. Oh, that's the worst when you shoot a dead body. No one likes that. Well, I think they're tired too, Landon. I mean, who wouldn't be at this point? Of course, a very long, <laughs> fought-out tournament. Got to give a lot of respect to the players. For sure. We're still in this one. Checking the bomb site. Gets the headshot, actually, onto Retrix. So the bomb goes down, but Exotic tries to hop on the defuse. Kind of awkward that was timing a little there. Risky. And uh, Gunjar and Proto alive. But how long can they stay up as Gunjar shuts down one, quickly turns to his left. The PPSH in hand, definitely not one that Gunjar is used to having in his possession. But it will be Proto, finding one from the back lines. And now it's up to the Clutch Belk to try to do what, exactly what his name says. Can he finish off this one versus one? Just has to check the bomb. And now he's giving away his mission to Proto. The Molotov gets thrown out and no! Proto not able to find it. The 1v1 does not go his way. And it will be a map in the books here as it will be 1-3-2 who walks away with this one here on USS Texas. Yeah, I'm still a huge fan of this map, how you can jump up between the levels. I think it's going to make uh, really good, you know, 1v1 situations down the road, just hopping back and forth. I mean, do you think we'll see, like, a scenario where two people, like, hop up at once and it just kind of happens? That'd be kind of interesting. <laughs> it's like they're, like, looking <laughs> like at each other, like, oops, that'd be... <laughs> that'd like, be who, can, who can beat down first? Or it's like, does that, yeah, who, like, tries to beat down or someone, like, jump off of it? Like, yeah, that'd be, that'd be kind of an interesting fight. See, these guys have Bean in their clan tag. I think hmm. that would have been a better name. Than one, two, team three, 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 two, should we just one. call him Team Bean? Can we, uh, can we just tell production we'll to make just, that happen we'll rather than just one, three, two? No, I'm they'll sure. probably get mad. They'll probably send they probably a point. Like, uh, our team's one, three, two because we have an organization that's called that. So. <laughs> <laughs> organization names. They Imagine are, the there's, logo. Full of, there's full of names out there. <laughs> just digits. Just, a bean. just a Mason. Bean. All they need is Mason. Nice. Mason. Black yeah. Ops 1 logo. Something Sweet. like that. Like that's it. probably not allowed. But either way, uh, of course, guys, that is going to be map number one in the books. Of course, USS Texas does go the way of the squad known as 132. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the second annual $10,000 Memorial Tournament live from the UMG Studios. It's myself, yeah. Burns Off, or Burns, or Barnes, or Matt. Oh, or you Pato. just called yourself Barnes. I, I mean, I've. I got used to it. At, Someone at write some this point. down. Uh, can we get the staff? But I didn't get a chance that? to introduce you, though. Oh, I'm too. sorry. Go ahead. And I'm with Landon, the great Landon. I was oh, actually about to tweet a picture of 
of you. It, oh, it looks God. like I'm looking up to you like, how, <laughs> Dad, how do I cast? <laughs> Teach me how to cast. It's very easy, son. You just speak words. <laughs> you just speak words. <laughs> you just say words and uh, talk about the old days. Right? Did you forget about the moment today when you were like talking and then you look over me and I'm just slowly looking into the screen not saying anything. <laughs> I remember that. I didn't say anything, but I was like, I guess you really I appreciate it. it. No, no so, you know, sometimes I zone out a bit. There, there's yeah, just so true. much good call of video action going on. Today. There it's, is. It's hard not to just zone out and, and stare at what's going on with, with all these matches. So Indeed. But uh, Gunjar, one yeah. versus two. Versus Supreme Agility. I don't think you're going to beat a guy with that <laughs> type of name. Or Skiliosis. He's going to fly into the sky with that type of gamer tag. 100%. He somehow has found a jetpack. Oh, looks like uh, Skiliosis is going for a little bit of snake there, Gunjar. Uh, I'm not a fan of that. He's probably Gunjar's probably really bad right now. He's probably a little but bit. Look sick. at this. He wouldn't be happy with that. Uh, catching some shots from the it's side. Ability, I told you. Yep. Of not going to be able to do it. It will be a plant onto that particular bomb site. It's going to imagine a lot of score gained here early for the side of one three two. As uh, <laughs> Team Bean. Yeah, Team Bean, aka. <laughs> Wonder where they get that from. No idea, to be totally honest with you. Hmm, I got an idea, but where are you getting Team Bean from? <laughs> <laughs> I have no, no idea. No, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. oh goodness. I hope I hope people are laughing. It's okay though. Looks like moving on here. Proto up close to personal fight. As he will lose that one narrowly. Supreme uh, agility's agility wasn't enough for him as he falls to exotic. You're getting clever with these. So, I know. Clutch Belt, that was a very interesting little line sight that he was holding, I believe, up top ruins. And now Gunjar left all by himself. Takes out Skiliosis despite what seemed like a fight that meant to go his way. One on two now for Gunjar. And the bomb. Nowhere near him. This should be a difficult one for Ping Jar, but of course there is only two enemies left. And they're However, giving they're up the together. bomb too. I, oh, never mind. Oh, we get picked off. There's well. no way Green Jar's turning around that fast. Huh. Green Jar has been left in uh, two one v two situations now. How do you think he feels? Probably Lonely? frustrated, especially because the other team's sneaking. So he's probably like, yeah, that's, ah, that's okay. true. That's true. Probably frustrated. I would be frustrated. Yeah. But. I thrive, it's all because I like thrive off of one v twos. I love it. Really? I just love when all my teammates die and I'm forced to clutch it. <laughs> really? Yeah. I, the only reason when that happens to me is just because I like wait in the back and I'm yeah. like, guys, what are you guys all dying for? They're like, you're just camping in the background. I'm like, well, you know, it's, uh, I'm doing my job. I'm trying to play the anchor. <laughs> I'm and just search sniping. And destroy. <laughs> I'm just anchoring and search and destroy. I'm anchoring spawns. Don't even worry about it. I joke really... there. You can't actually spawn up and search and destroy. So. <laughs> I really love A pushes on this. Uh, I, I really feel like you're going to see a lot of strong, confident teams that kind of not only want to beat you, but leave a mark in an offensive round go A. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to try to challenge you on those head glitches and prove a point that they can beat you. Besides just going to B and get right. it. You know? I think it'll be an interesting one to kind of be watching out for. Like you said, when it kind of comes down to the... Uh, and kind of how maps develop over time. But uh, if you are... On either of these teams, you have to be aware, of course, of Royalty from the side of Saga. And, of course, Skiliosis and Retrix, both those guys rocking sniper rifles back on USS Texas for map one. I mean, uh, they can both kind of hold down cabin side. So. You have to be afraid of anyone who has a 15 or above sensitivity. So. That's true. I would definitely be afraid to play against Royalty just because of the uh, high likelihood that I could be showing up on Reddit after the series is over. I, I mean, not only that, but like I explained before, his character moves so fast that it changes when you look at him. It almost looks like it breaks the game. I think there was actually a moment in AW, and I want to say AW it was, is the worst out of all of them. It was. I remember it was a clip on Reddit. It was from Nate Shot, and he was playing on Detroit Search and Destroyer Detroit Hardpoint. Yeah, and there was Middle like this. Hill. Th yeah, it was like Middle that Hill. one random like, like. I forget what it was. It was like your like, character bounced. Mm -hmm. Remember that? And I yeah. think it was actually Royalty who did that. And everyone's like, okay, this guy like broke the game. Like officially has made something. That's when he was really making a name for himself yeah. as an AW. So, and then when the people, an a team, yeah. And then when people learned about his sensitivity, they're like, all right, this is not. That's not real. We got to see this at a tournament. And I then like he this. Did it at a tournament. I like this from Proto. You see what he's doing? He's just playing with them. I think he's also snaking back. They're like, hey, these what? guys, these guys are gonna snake. We're gonna do it too. Landon, can you teach these people what snaking is? Uh, basically, uh, snaking is whenever you uh, prone 
behind and up on cover, which uh, kind of allows for a little bit of a glitch. I think it's fair to say, kind yeah. of. I'm not. I don't want to call it a glitch because so it's like technically in the game. It's kind of hard to, to describe, but essentially, whenever you do it, it makes uh, kind of acts in the game as if you don't actually see someone when they are kind of quickly proning up and down. But I cover. feel in this game, you still see them. You mm -hmm. can still shoot them. Yeah. But the movement is happening. Yeah. It's definitely and not as bad as in prior titles, but it still exists. Yes. But in Modern Warfare Three, where snaking oh was. <laughs> You had the snake, or you would lose. Mm -hmm. Your head would actually come up at a head glitch, and right. you couldn't get shot. So, is that how you won the free fall tournament? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I actually won it a way worse way than that. Well, how's that? Camping? Um, ACR? Probably. You really want to hear this? Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, what was the secret strat? <laughs> All right. Number one, everything was allowed in this tournament. Okay. Okay. There was a mini little personal radar that you could... Oh, no. Ju just listen to this. Just oh listen to this. Oh, my God. Right. So, there's a mini radar that you could put by your feet, and it provided a mini UAV on the mini map. Oh, my God. And there was four people in finals. I camped a corner, and I put that mini radar down <laughs> proudly, knowing that <laughs> I was trying to win. <laughs> this and is for the Jeep. This is for the Jeep. And I'll never forget hearing one person. It was this one kid... He's like, what is that beeping noise? I'm like, I don't know what that is either. <laughs> but you're dead. Little did you know, yeah, little did you know you're actually in the respawn screen right now. So, uh, there you go. Yeah. So. Secret tricks to burn. I'm not sure if anyone could get away with that right now. No. I, I think that'd be noticed. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think so. I mean, if everything's allowed, you can. You I mean, hey, it's, it was, free, it was literally a free-for-all. Like, for quite sure. literally a, a free-for-all. But, yeah. uh. Looking at this match right now, definitely a surprising one. Uh, kind of, kind of keep in mind. It looks like the side of uh, what is it? One, three, two. It's currently up four rounds to one over the side of Saga. Keeping in mind, they also just won Search and Destroy on USS Texas in Map One, six rounds to four. So currently a groundbreaking series and a huge round right now. If you're in the position of Saga, just because they, of course, they won a massive tournament last night, the four v four variant, beating off. Uh, was it Team Envious in the Grand Finals? Yeah. And now their tournament lives are on the line. They are indeed. Five this, rounds uh, to one now. This clutch guy has been super on point with the sniper rifle this entire series. Um, I'm pretty sure he's averaging at least one kill every two rounds. And, uh, of course, here we got to give notice to Skiliosis and his beautiful bar shots across the map. Very nice. Very nice shots. Especially with the bar, it's like it's it's a very accurate gun, but like it still requires some skill oh, on, a, on a head glitch, you know, base. It still has that little flinch. Definitely does. Or recoil, I should say. Not Turtle currently sitting at 0 and 6. Get the final kill. Of course, normally the objective man when it comes down to this lineup, but him and Royalty definitely kind of having struggles. It seems only winning one round up until this point. After seven rounds of play. See if we can try to pick up on that as both Gunjar and Exonic responding for the first two. Clutch Belk and Skiliosis still up. And that is a fantastic shot coming from Skiliosis. Potential second in his mitts, but no royalty is there for that finish. As it is going to be Clutch Belk left in a one versus three. Thankfully, the bomb is hand, but bomb is in his hand, excuse me. But unfortunately, does have a sniper rifle. Could pick that uh, gun off of a dead body, but. Not exactly sure what the play call is. Going to go for the plants. And I think in this play, this is very smart. He's going to be 50 points. Or actually, he's going to earn the Molotov in this case. And if he can oh. find a weapon off the ground, it could make things a lot more easy for him. Yeah, and just looking at the minimap right now, he might get some really good timing. I, I hope a lot of players actually go in depth and learn. Ooh. <laughs> he has FMJ. <laughs> oh, did he oh, die? No. You ever do that? You're just like about to say something really important, and then you just hear the <laughs> breath. Like you hear his breath. Like, <gasps> yeah. I, I just feel like I have to be silent for the stream. I, I feel like you guys want to hear his lungs beating and all the other good stuff. So. <laughs> oh my. So of course, round seven taking place, as it will be. The side of one three two. Still up. As, uh, of course, they are on match point. We'll see if Boys and Saga can slowly but surely bring this one back. Of course, it's not over just yet. However, it would be a difficult comeback. But I believe, is that was that a sticky? I didn't actually uh, click. That, that was, was a sticky it, grenade. Was it actually? And Proto does not join the agency today. Oh, okay. Good he's work finally, there from Proto. Gunjar picks off kills. another one. Back-to-back -back first two kills going the way of, uh, of Saga. Yeah, you can never 
Count out clutch though with the sniper rifle. Sure. Oh. Just like that. I mean, that's come disgusting. On now. Uh, too disgusting. Why can't I be that good? I, why can't we all be that good? And it's a <laughs> it's a two on two right now. They might be uh, throwing this round away. Indeed, they could. Retrix, clutch belk. Last alive, and they Ooh. nearly shut down one. Exotic somehow staying alive, but it is a one on two. And I'm not sure if clutch belk actually spotted the back of royalty. Oh no. Goes for the jump sniper, realizes it's there. Gets the headshot at that. Does he realize where one is? And no. tries to turn around. Oh, man. And a big pick coming been in huge. from the side of Saga. Just an overall a great reaction from Exotic. As just couldn't get around that corner fast enough. Big pick from Exotic as we will see yet again another round of play. I, that was extremely biased to me. I just said, no, he didn't get the kill. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was turned into a, such an awesome play that I was expecting him to get the kill after those uh, two beautiful snipes. Look to be good. The only two versus four coming in. However, like I said, back-to-back -back rounds. First two kills going towards Saga. We'll see how this one does play out. Looks like a B bomb site hit for the set of one, three, two. And it looks like study aim and grip. For Skiliosis, interesting attachments to be rocking on this one. Wow. See, we'll get lit up in flames there from Goon. So, three versus three. Bomb still making its way toward this, this particular might be site. one of the luckiest Molotov kills we've seen this tournament. Just, I, I think the flames were not even on him, but beneath him. Just like, you know, rising up. And going. Yeah. Maybe he couldn't breathe in the snow. Maybe he couldn't. Maybe he uh, <laughs> couldn't drop and roll. Although he's in the snow, so, I mean, if I could be... A lot more survivability when it comes down to this map. How interesting would it be in World War II if in this game if they actually like took real life things and like allowed you to like drop in the smoke or drop in the snow if you wanted cool. to? That'd be yeah. interesting. Like and I think that does it. It um, does. We have one three two. One three two. Team Bean. AKA. Taking out Saga. Two O. Wow. And unfortunately, I, I guess you can't win them all. Saga won the UMG four v four variant last night in dominating fashion, and tonight they fall short in the uh the $10,000 Memorial Tournament. <laughs> Indeed. So uh, interesting plays as uh, we do wave goodbye toward the side of Saga. But we'll look on as we're actually already in our next series. So